Welcome to Mango Plays A Spirit Fairer. Spirit Fairer is a cozy management game about dying. As ferry master to the deceased, build a boat to explore the world, care for your spirit friends and release them into the afterlife. I did get the Spirit Fairer uh, Farewell Edition which includes the heartwarming base game and the three major content updates. Now this game was recommended to me by Nick, Luna Hop and Poppy Jake and I'm very excited to get started. Now, I have seen the tutorial before, unfortunately this is the second time recording the beginning part uh, because you know I'm a good YouTuber and I forgot to check my settings. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it is absolutely and utterly adorably cute, very much up my alley, and I'm very excited to um, play like a, a linear story game with you guys. Ah, oh, finally! Um, and for a change, I do have my controller out. I thought for a second you would never wake up, little one. How ironic that would that would have been, would it not? I'm Sharon. Hey, Sharon. The Spirit Bearer. Ooh, lovely. Well, that is what I've been until your arrival. Yeah, we're about to take over your job, Sharon. I cannot say that I'm sad to leave, but I still had a few things left to do here. I'm afraid you'll have to pick up things where I left them. It is, after all, my very last day. And you are? A mango. Stella. Oh, we've been named Stella. Okay, welcome Stella. All right, thank you. I see you've brought a friend here with you. What's his name? He's got the best name ever. It's the best friend ever. Daffodil, if you didn't quite catch what Sharon said. I see. You two will share the burden then. And take it over from me. As I said, in a few minutes I'll be gone from this world. And that is why you are here. You'll be the new spirit bearer. Listen, your task here will be far from easy, but simple nonetheless. Go fetch the stray spirits stranded on the islands, and when they are ready, bring them back here. Dying souls can't pass away on their own. You will have to help them fulfill their last request, and be at their service until their last breath. Ooh, I could tell that might become a bit annoying, but hopefully it won't. The big round bridge over there is the Everdor. The Alpha where everything starts. The Omega, where everything ends. This is where all the quests get completed and where existence meets its threshold. <gasps> there is no task more important than this one. Never forget this, Stella. Here, there is something I need to give you. Mm. Oh, so pretty. The art is just... Oh, I, I'm going to go on and on about it because it's just very much up my alley, I think. Um, quite bold line art and just simple but with enough definition to truly understand what's going on now be really careful with it it is the Everlight the symbol of your status here and the only tool you will ever need wait, what are you? oh Daph, what are you doing? oh, oh how highly inappropriate <laughs> Daffodil just wanted their own Everlight. Well, that settles it. The Everlight will help you throughout your travels. It will be the light that shines in the darkness. The last remaining hope of the departed. Okay. Oh, how pretty. Oh. And I think that became my belt buckle and Daff's collar. Oh, I love it. Thank you very much, Ron. Hope is a flame, the light that never falters, the beacon of eternity. It is heavy and inconvenient, but there is no greater duty than this one. The fate of lost souls rests on your shoulders. Look, I was overwhelmed too, at first. Just try to keep your focus. Take it one step at a time. You will soon get used to this place, accustomed to these moments. You are the new spirit bearers, after all. Oh, and one last thing. Once I am gone, you'll have to find a ship of your own. Mine is not suited for you, and it will fade away once I am gone. You might find one not too far from here, if you keep rowing in the right direction for some time. Probably. It's time. Here I go. 
Do you reckon Sharon is just like, yeah, I've been catering to everyone's whims for long enough. I want to go. <gasps> I wonder if we will have to help Sharon cross over as well. Because they did say they have some unfinished business. And that's basically what this is about. I think this game is, I don't know, maybe it will help with some of my own personal um, issues relating to grief. Uh, so long, Stella, and good luck. You will need it. It's the old adage, isn't it? You should never fear the Reaper. Death. Yeah, it's understandable to fear death, but the Reaper, actually, they're normally incredibly helpful. They, they've gone out of their way to help you, to guide you on that final journey, and... Oh my god, Daffodil, you're so cute. And, yeah, the spirit fairer, in essence. So, I am interested to see um, how this will go. Press A to jump. Hold A to jump higher. Okay. Lovely. We also got a nice rolly rolly. Uh, right here. So, hold down and press A. And then press X to talk to people. Mm. Stella. Yes. It really is you. Stand up straight and let me get a good look at you. Mm. You look good. And Daffodil is here too. I see. Mm. We'll have to find a limp roller then. Ah. It might not be that obvious after mm. all. It's me. Gwen. Good thing you found mm. me. But if you're here it means... Oh. You are the new spirit fairer. Mm. You are the one replacing Sharon. I was trying to get rid of him. And only ended up here by accident. I've been stuck on this disgusting island for about a week. Living off sardines and cigarettes. Mm. Funny how I used to be the one getting you out of trouble before. I can see you have an Everlight now. Mm. Of course. See that boat over there? Ooh, it's going to be our boat. I like it. Yes. Can we go mm. nick it? Oh my god, look at Daffodil. Mm. Oh, it's obviously sli slightly shabby. But let's commandeer it. I'd wager it would work since you're the spirit fairer. Okay, meet me on the deck mm. over there. I'll explain it all. All right. <gasps> Ooh. Let's go. Now, there is some gorgeous animations um, around the sort of like jumping around. Um, so I, I just wanted to show a few of those off. I know everything about the boat. As I said, I have done quite a bit of the tutorial. Um, but we'll... What we'll do is we'll get through it as quick as we can possibly can. And then we'll be back to blind gameplay. Oh my god, a yo-yo? Alright. Okay, here goes. Hope my fur coat won't be too damaged. Gwen, you're just divine, my darling. Oh, that's bright. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. I am not one to jump for joy, but this feels good. Much better than anticipated. Mm -hmm. So, the way I see it, this boat is yours now, don't you think? Mm. Good. And as you're the spirit fairer, welcoming stray spirits is your new job. And once aboard, they will assume their true forms. Mm. Well, it's my theory anyway. Why are you looking at me like that? Mm. You need to come here and give me a hug. How cute. Oh my god. Let's go. Uh, hug. Oh, when you mm. asked for it, why are you shocked? Come on. Much better. Come with me now. Let's take a look at this chaos. So, request completed. I believe if I press the... Yeah, this button. We can see all of the requests, upgrades, and shenanigans, apparently. Um, can I see new requests? No, we don't have one yet. Oh no! What a mess. It's alright. Reminds me of Aunt Petunia's old yard. A beautiful, unorganized testament to someone's laziness. Or a vital impossibility to get rid of anything. At any rate, we should do something about this. Or my dust allergies will be back. Let me think. Mm. There's only one way to clean this up. You have to meet Albert. Mm. He's your local shipwright. And his jokes are garbage. But he is the only one who can fix your boat. Mm. We should head to Albert's shipyard. You must be wondering how to make this ship move. Mm. It's really easy, actually. There, let me give you this key I found on the island. It will unlock that cabin in the back. You should find a map projector in there. How do I know all this? Well, I was planning an escape, remember? 
And you know me, I plan things meticulously. Look at how bored I look. I love it. Very meticulously. Go open up that cabin, Stella. The map projector should be simple enough to use, and you just have to go to Albert's shipyard. Okay, don't. Let's go. Bye. Set sail, Captain. So there's a new request. Um, let's open up that request. There we go. So Gwen's asked for it. Oh my god, look at the little art of Gwen's portrait. Set sail, Captain. Start your boat in Stella's cabin. No, this is my cabin. How dare you. Um, so we're at the Alt Harbour. And I love this map. So we can zoom out a bit. So this is the Everdor. Yeah, the Everdor. And then there's a what looks like a tram. And then we've got the new Albert shipyard. So we're going to confirm travel. And I'm going to head on out. Stella. Yes. As I understand, the ship is powered by your Everlight. That's how it cruises the ocean and reveals the sta stray spirits even. It also explains why I couldn't do anything by myself. You must admit, it's quite fascinating. Look, I know you must feel overwhelmed. Chiron, the Avador, the Spirit Ferris, this place, this boat, me being here. It's a lot. You must be wondering what is going on. Truth be told, I don't really know either. But I'm here for you. I do my best to help you and try to make sense of it all. As I said earlier, I wanted to leave by myself, but somehow I just couldn't. Now that I see you, I think I know why. I'll give you some space for now. Don't hesitate to explore the ship. You can even give that fishing rod a try. The world is your oyster. So what I've um, kind of already learned is you can fish from here, which we'll do in a sec. Um, you can't um, go into the little boat here when you are um, going. But if you jump off, your boat will pause. When Stella or Daffodil leave the boat, it stops. It will start automatically once everyone is back on board. So you can go and collect like the junk from the side. Oops if I can do it right. There we go. Um, which is helpful for various recipes that we need to do. So it's kind of helpful there. Um, I think basically I fell off the first time because I was like standing out here going, oh, it's so pretty, and knocked my joystick. And that's how I found out that it's all good. But yeah, in the top left, you can see the journey progress um, on sort of like a, I'm trying to get a better background for it the star moving through there and then on the did I say top left I meant top right uh, and then top left we've got like um, the half circle and that's the time of the day so we're in the day light hours and we're moving towards um, dusk and that's normally how time works but yeah I'm gonna give a little bit of fishing before we actually hit Albert's um, zone the traveling is really relaxing, like genuinely really relaxing. Um, but yeah, you just hold X to reel at this point. And we got a herring. Ooh. Congratulations. In the background, we can see the shipyard. I know, I know. I'm fishing no. I'm gonna get gonna catch daff something. There we go, and another herring. There we go. Here we are. Yes. Albert's shipyard discovered. Mm. Now head down to Albert's shipyard and upgrade your blueprint station. It's the only way to clear this cutter. I'm curious about what it's all made of. Considering the smell, I'd say at least seven different types of dirt and dust. That's a good point. Yeah. The blueprint station isn't here. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Daph, you are just awesome. Hey, y'all. How you doing? Welcome to my shipyard, young traveler. Where my prices are the best, or a customer's best friend, even. I'm Albert. Been in the business of shipbuilding for ages. Should I assume you are the new spirit fairer? Well, of course you are. Anyway, you've been able to start the ship and bring it here after all. When was right to point you towards my humble enterprise? Ah, let me see what you have here. Nice little dinghy. Funny how it looks exactly like the one I had built some time ago and stored in my old shipyard. I just noticed. Look at how deep our ship actually is. 
Because it's the thing in the background. We can see the mess at the top, um, top right, and the sort of like rope ladder on the top left. Like that's the bottom of the rope ladder is literally where it, it sits, touches the water, doesn't it? Um, we didn't steal it, honest. She, see, Chiron was unhappy about his gloomy and dank art, and she was always complaining about everything. But the customer's always right, so I built him a newer, better one. The customer is always right about matters of taste, I think is the actual full saying, by the way. Um, it's been shortened and it's lost its true meaning because it's the customer isn't always right. The customer is only right in matters of taste. Like if they like pink and green um, stripes on their car or their um, mobile phone or whatever, that's their right. That's their choice. They are always right in regards to taste. But if they're screaming and shouting at you because they want something weird or um, something that's not, they're not actually right. It's, it's, we, again, lost the meaning of the saying. Anyway, that was my rant. Um, you built him a new about one. Of course, he would never abandon his previous boat. Old habits die hard. But don't worry, you can keep this one. Let's just call this a loan. Yeah, you're a loan shark, aren't you? Let me tell you something. You know, we always joke about the construction here. Don't worry, we're still working on it. <laughs> anyway, with a little bit of love, this bird will be resplendent again. The first thing you'll need is a proper blueprint table. Since it's your lucky day and I'm feeling generous, I'll offer it to you. Free of charge. Mind you, it's just a bit bare bones in terms of functionality but the subsequent upgrades you'll come at or will come at such a small price you'll want to buy them almost immediately simply direct me to upgrade the ship okay i can do that um right let's go here upgrade and yes i would like the yes i'd like the blueprint station Ooh. and now this one will require maple logs and limestone and then that's a bigger boat. Gonna need a bigger boat. Um, the intrepid otter. We're the exploring krill at the moment. How cute! And a mailbox and the whole money system. Don't know what that is. There you go. Yeah. You'll be able to build and edit your buildings on your boat. What a treat! But if you really want to upgrade your boat in size and in pleasure, I'm your guy. Come back when you feel your boat is getting too crowded. Cheers! Oh my god, Daph, you're so cute! Finally! Yeah, alright, I want to look at it. And look at this, we can edit! Um, so looking down there, we can salvage this. Yeah! Look at that! Finally! Yes! Good. Albert oh, gave it to you for free. And he said he loaned the ship to you. Mm -hmm. Ominous. That's what I thought, Gwen. Hard to know what he has in mind, but it doesn't sound reassuring. Anyway, let's focus on the task at hand for now. Cleaning up this deck. You can go to your new blueprint table above your cabin and select Move Option. In it, you'll be able to remove any building and get back resources. Mm. Over it, I'll wait down here. I've already done it. <laughs> Whoops. Did I break sequence? Wonderful! There we go. Mm -hmm. You did a wonderful job, Stella. And the good news is that you have enough resources to add a guest house to your ship. Yeah, all right. A necessary amenity. Mm -hmm. Newly welcomed spirits such as myself will have a temporary place to relax and sleep. Well, sleep, not really. I can tell you for sure that no one will be thrilled to spend more than one night in there. Mm -hmm. But it be sleeping on the deck. The stars are pretty, but the wood is stiff and the humidity is hard to tolerate. I'll leave you to it. Have fun. Thank you very much. Okay, I want to build then. And what are we building? We're building a guest house. Maple logs. Okay. Let's um, give you a nice view of the front of the ship. Have you as far away from me as possible. Because this is my quarters, by the way, guys, if you didn't know. Um, if we go up here, this is where I sleep. Yes, Gwen, I'm coming. 
very nice. The guest house is very pretty. It has your touch. Nice work as usual. Now at last I have a place to sit down and enjoy the view. Oh, wait. What is going on? Something else is happening. Ah. I should have expected this. I'm actually hungry. Very hungry. You know how terrible a cook I am. Well, I remember you being absolutely fantastic at it. And you might have fished a few fishes already. Trouble is, I can't really eat an entire raw fish. I could try for sure, but I'd probably choke on the fish bone and never survive. Mm -hmm. That's not how you want me to go. As absurd as this sounds. So you should keep on using the blueprint table of yours and build a kitchen aboard. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I've seen the plans for it in there. As well as the necessary resources. Damn. You require bright jelly. Mm -hmm. And there is only one way to get some. I... Look, I should have told you when I first met you here. Something scares the hell out of me. A dark presence. And even I cower from it. A void that swallows all, light included. It can take many forms. For me, it is always jellyfish. Yes, I'm fully aware of the irony. The bright jelly you need for the kitchen. Well, only these jellyfish can provide it for you. So there is no other option. I'll have to face my fears. But you're here. Mm. With you, I can do it. They will appear as a dark patch of pure fear on your map, so you can't miss it. Go, I'll take some time to prepare myself. Cool. Let's go. I want to go sailing. Can't wait. Okay, what have we got? New zones. Apparently we've got a new, um, a new bit here. But we're going to go straight here. Um, resources found. Right, Jelly. These patches are um, treasures and whatnot, but we're going to go here first. I just want to check out the guest house. There we go. It's kind of cute, right? Oh my god, there's me and Daph in a picture frame back there. Oh. Oh my god. Hi, birdie. Oh, no. All right. I know next time. All right. Can I? I can hop. I can't get up onto that one. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here we are. All right. Damn. Here they come. Remember, set your eyes on the ones with bright jelly. It should be visible enough. That said... Up as many as you can, you'll get glims anyway. I'll wait for you inside. It's just too hard for me to stay out here. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. I believe in you. Yeah, just because you're hungry. Alright. Ooh. Okay, so we've got stuff coming towards us apparently. Oh, there we go. Jellyfish. And we just have to smack them with our face. Okay. Nice and easy. And we're getting the currency, which is called glims. I like it. Okay. Glims. Oop, 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 oop. I need to get higher. Uh. Oh, no. Higher, higher, higher. Hi. Uh. <laughs> Look at the acrobats. Oop. How many blight jelly do I need? That's quite high. I think I will... I think I'll do this here. It doesn't give me ch much chance to recover. Because, you know... Ah! <gasps> I got another. At least one. But this gives me the greater height being here. Catch those glims. Oh my word. Woo! Whoop, whoop. Got another bright jelly there, which is good. Ooh, big boy. Is that the end? I feel like it is. It, it doesn't last long, The um, this bit here. Okay. I'm really impressed. You rocked out there. Mm -hmm. Tumbling and diving like a shooting star. 
without the slightest fear nor hesitation at that. You definitely haven't lost your touch, Stella. And you even gathered enough bright jelly to build a proper kitchen. Go for it. I'll be patiently waiting. Slowly digesting myself. <laughs> All right, Stella. Okay, so let's go build. Um, we want a kitchen. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I'll pop it there. We can move stuff, so I'm not worried about where stuff goes right now. You can now use the kitchen's oven. It should be rather simple. Put any one ingredient in the oven and wait for it to be cooked. You could even try these loose corn kernels that have been hanging around my pockets. I can't wait to see you in your cooking glory again. You got this. Ah, oh, thank you. Okay, so let's go. Now, you can actually put, you can actually cook up to five things at once. And it's awesome. So that took me a while to realize. But you just keep pressing the the X key on the controller. I don't know what it is on keyboard and mouse. You can play it with keyboard and mouse. Absolutely nasty fine. Oh my god, look at our oven gloves. I can smell it. I know, but I am going to cook two herring. And the herring takes a lot longer to cook than the popcorn. Mm. I could eat anything. Just give me some food. Okay, so food. Uh, yeah, one of those. Well, I won't die just yet. Thanks, Stella. It's better than I thought it could be. But then again, you've always been a wonder in the kitchen. Don't forget, spirits don't run on sunshine and water. We need a good meal once in a while. It'll be up to you to understand who's fond of what. As for, as for me, I'm sure you remember, I've always loved comfort food. And that I would die for a cup of coffee. But I'm not that picky. I can eat anything. Just never the same thing twice. Oh, and before I forget, here is something I was supposed to give you. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but a noble is a symbol of passage. It's a fee each spirit has to pay you. But something tells me you knew all that already. No, I didn't. Okay, let's keep on improving this craft. As you must have seen, in your blueprint table, there is both a field and a garden blueprint, which means you can grow many different things. And turn this ship into an adorable farm of sorts. You should add a field first, in my opinion. Mm. It's going to be easier to find the resources for it around here, and you can grow a linen in it, which in turn will be used to craft more things. In addition to building a field, we should go buy seeds to use mm. in it. But that will come later. I need you to visit an island close by. It's called Mostine Cove, and there's something on it we need. Mm. I'll tell you when we get there. All right. Mm. Fair enough. Yes. Ah, yes. I forgot to tell you about this. As you can see, the boat stops at night. I believe it's a side effect of your Everlight being, well, light. Or some other technicality. That being said, it will allow people to sleep undisturbed. You, in the meantime, can do anything you want. Tackle unfinished business or just chill on the deck under the stars. I'd suggest you go to sleep too, in that cosy little room at the top of the cabin. You'll wake up refreshed and ready to go. And this ship will start up again in the morning. Oh, and talking about that, you know me, waking up on time has never been my forte. Mm -hmm. You can ring that big bell over there to wake people up. Remember, only do it at the right time. Mm -hmm. Early morning should do the trick. Speaking of which, time for me to take a nap. See you tomorrow, Stella. Mm -hmm. Have a good night. And you, I want to go pick up my food, please. And... And just continue with the busy work. So the food doesn't burn from what I could work out, which is awesome. So you can just kind of shove as much as you possibly can in and not worry about it, really. Good morning, Daffodil. How you doing? Okay, we can wake people up. Hello, good morning. How you doing? And we learned steam shellfish. Lovely. Right, okay. Do you need anything? You need a hug? I'm fine, thank you. You seem to be hungry. Let's give you one of those. Thanks, I love it. Good, I'm glad. Right, let's go traveling. So what I'm going to do is mostly cut out um, the travel. 
when we experience something new i'll pop that in but most of the time during the travel i'll probably be doing um busy work uh farming etc talking of which we need to build something a field limestone oh dear and maple logs okay so yeah we'll, we'll sort of not worry too much about it well you see yeah well hmm. don't ask me how but i met albert already he definitely is a shark but his interest in all things maritime will be helpful such as the boat upgrades he sells an outrageously high price. With those, you'll be able to cross ominous weather barriers in the world. They look like classical mythical challenges again. Mm. A bit cliche if you ask me. <laughs> oh, we're here. And I got us a fish down. Look at that. Yeah. Mosteen Cove discovered. It's kind of nice. All green and cute. We should hop on that island over there. Maybe we'll find something interesting. I am looking forward to interesting stuff. Bye, Gwen. Hello. Ooh, what's this? Ooh. A medium glim bottle and an empty bottle. Okay. Here we go. What a majestic tree. Well, you can cut it down. Yes, it's fine, I promise. Mm. It's the best way to get the wood you need, actually. But don't worry, they'll regrow over time. None. Another interesting fact about the Everlight. Okay. This animation is so freaking cute. I love it so much. And you have to press left and right. Um, either like A and D or the um, thumbstick to get that duck going. Um, which is just absolutely nasty adorable. Oh, raspberries. Gwen, I just want to go exploring. We've talked way too much. Like, let me just have some fun and work stuff out on my own a little bit, please. The The tutorial is very hand-holdy, but I have a feeling that once it's done, it's more sort of free. Um, well, I hope anyway. And this is how we mine up limestone and various other things. So sort of have to charge it and if you over overhold it, it sort of like breaks on you. It's really cute. Okay, let's try again. There we go. Limestone. Lovely. Anything out here? No. Alright, Gwen, I'm coming back. Oh my god. Look at how that just oh. I would want an adventure cat like this. It would be so much fun. Mm. Congratulations. You've become Death, the destroyer of worlds. Joke aside, that's how you do it. You go on ahead, cutting down more trees. Then we can go back to the boat and build the field with all those maple logs. I'll be next to the raft. Okie doke. Uh, can I harvest that again? Seems to be glowing. Nope. Okay. Bye, Gwen. How does she make it back here? I don't know. Alright, let's get this blueprint done. Okay, field. Um, weird. But we'll pop it there. A field. Yes. Ah, it's better looking than I thought. There is a little je ne sais quoi to it. Simple but elegant. Now all you have to do is plant field seeds in there. Seals, seeds can grow only in their respective places. Garden seeds won't grow in the field, so don't bother trying. Mm. But you know me, I'd kill a plastic cactus, so don't take my word on this. Anyway, there's only one place where we could possibly find what we need. Theodore specializes in seeds. Mm. He has set up a shop in Hummingburg, the busiest town of the area. Theodore and his brothers are the founders of Raccoon Inc. A shady retail franchise with very loose moral values. It's very Animal Crossing. Yes, this world has a serious problem of dubious business practices. Mm. Since I don't want you to get swindled, I'll come with you and do most of the talking. I've run into this cheeky little raccoon once and his dishonesty, dishonesty was blatant. Let's head to Hummingbird then. Okay, no. Alright, let's, um... Have I got anything? No, no seeds. Now, if I had gone 
because I have sort of been to one of these um, zones like this before. You do get seeds from there, which is pretty cool. But for the moment, we're just going to go straight through the, the quest. Because I kind of hope that we get most of the tutorial done um, in the first episode. Stella! Yes! What do you want? You know, I'm delighted that you're here with me. But I'm not surprised one bit. It adds up. You here, taking care of me in my final hours. You've always cared so damn much about others. Always protected those you found vulnerable. Even pedantic snobs like me. Remember the day my father yelled at the cat? We just got out of elementary school. Oh, we've known each other since then. You were wearing these blue sneakers with the glittery tags. And there you were, yelling back at my father like you were on a mission. Mm. Father turned red and smashed the purple Delano vase. It was rad. Well, I'm glad. I could be a positive influence in your life. And in your afterlife as well. The curious thing I that's going through my head is... We're sort of humanoid shaped, right? But when is a humanoid deer? Is that like their spirit animal type thing? Or is there like a a world before the afterlife in essence where uh, humans and these humanoid creatures exist? I'm curious. And we've discovered hummingbird. Alright, we're here. Let's buy some seeds. Theodore has set up a shop on this island. Let's pay him a visit. Alright, let's go. <laughs> well done, Gwen. Now, there's loads of people to talk to. I'm not going to right now. We'll be back talking to them all in future episodes. Take a good look at the shrine, Stella. It's simply stunning. Some objects in this world are meant to resonate with the spirit bearer and the everlight. Mm -hmm. I've heard this monument has the power to enhance the Everlight's abilities. The two slots on it need to be filled up. I'm fairly certain you could use obols to activate it. But to get obols, you need to welcome more spirits onto your ship. I'm sure you'll soon find more lost souls like me. Alright, let's uh, have a look. Double jump. Oh my god, I want it. And we need two obols. We've got one. Because we've got Gwen. Come on, Gwen. Where are we going? I see a raccoon. Ooh. How do I... Oh, I need double jump, don't I? Right, okay. Gwen, come on. Step right up, potential prospect. Welcome to raccooning. We've been servicing hummingbirds since forever. You've got the glims. I've got the goods. Oh, I love that so. I've got all the wares to make you spend those hard-earned glims. Step right up. Okay, um... There's Theodore. Go ahead, take a look at what he's selling. Okay, no. Uh, why? A key. 500,000 glims. I've only got 430. Uh, this key opens the door next to the broken ladder in Hummingbird. Okay. This one. Ah, cool. What was that? Those prices are out of control. I won't let him get away with this. Are you ready to see me obliterate this merchant? Yes. Good, let's do this. Theodore, I know what you're doing here. And you should be ashamed of yourself, you trash panda. People like you are the reason we have middle fingers. Oh. What? Madam, what's the meaning of this? Mm. My friend here is the new spirit fairer. She's not a newbie, and neither am I. Mm. That little scam of yours won't work on us. Oh. But, but, I... I can assure you, my business practices are quite above board. Mm -hmm. Be warned, you treacherous striped weasel. I won't tolerate this behaviour one more second. No more shenanigans. No more double crosses. Mm -hmm. Just fair prices. Hey. I... I... Mm -hmm. So stop being dishonest at once. And next time I see you, I'll try being nicer. If you start being smarter. Mm -hmm. Got it? Hey. Uh, yes. Yes, of course. Oh. I promise you, I'll adjust my prices. I beg you, please don't scold me anymore. 
I'll even give you a discount. Oh, thank you. Hey, you. Yes, you. Your friend really gave that greedy merchant some hell. You both like you could possibly join... You both look like you could possibly join the upstairs crew. You want to come up, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. I'm not going to lie. It is pretty cool being up here. Yeah, all the best people are up here. Don't get too excited, though. Some idiot broke the ladder. You'd have to be able to jump inhumanely high to make it. I guess you could also use the stairs in that house. But some other idiot lost the key. Well, anyway, see ya. Upstairs crew forever. Were you the idiot that lost the key? <laughs> okay, let's buy some stuff. Oh, 5,000. That's a bit better. Okay, they did say they wanted linen seeds. Let's get a couple of linen seeds. Um, coffee. Let's get a couple of coffee seeds then. All right. Oh my god, you're so cute. If you got everything you need, I'll take my leave. Feel free to stay here as long as you want. I'll meet you at the pier. Awesome. Okay, with stuff plant well, not planted. Uh, with stuff seeds bought, should I say? We can probably do some planting. Yes. Looks great. And have a linen seed. And we'll do a coffee seed. And what do we do? <gasps> we can water them. Okay. Let's see the animation. Oh my god, it's so cute. I love it. Looks great. Thanks to um, Gwen. I'm getting confused. I'm, I keep thinking Gwen Stella. No, I'm Stella. But I'm Manga. I'm so confused. Way ahead of me, Stella. Your thumb is as green as your hat. This boat will soon become a cozy, floating farm. Don't forget that you'll probably have to water the plants once in a while. Don't ask my word for it, though. My gardening knowledge is as limited as my father's empathy. You'll have to find better mentors than me. Which reminds me. I believe it's time for you to find new people. Not that I don't love the idea of just the two of us cruising the oceans, but you are the spirit fairer, and spirit fairers find spirits. Mm. And yes, help them fulfill their last wishes, however mundane they can be. I've heard of a place not far from here where someone might be in need of your help. And I'll bet you'll like this one, if he is who I think he is. Mm. Go, let's sail. Cool. And also, I believe if we talk, or have a look actually at the mood, we can see various things about this. So, um, apparently, Gwen will use the loom if we had loom. Um, they're optimistic about their journey. They shopped a raccoon ink. So, they are quite happy. Okay, um, let's check out our new location. I think this will be the last thing that we'll do in today's episode is go and, um, Find this new person, this new spirit. Good morning, Daff. How you doing? Oh my god, I just noticed the animation of Daffodil going up and downstairs. Ladders, should I say. So cute. They've done so much detailing to this game. It's fabulous. If you are interested in the game, there is a link to it in my description. So, um, don't forget, go pop that on your wish list, pick it up in a sale, that's what I did. <gasps> Ooh, lightning and thunder. Do we need to, um, worry? Like, should I not be standing on the highest point? <laughs> Seems like we're here. What is this place called again? Bark and Sheem Creek. Oh, how lovely. It's such a pretty little, little island looking. That was a really weird sentence. It's such a pretty looking little island. There we go. Better sentence structure. Come on, Stella. And what have we got here? Oh, trees that are already cut down. Oh, no. Yes, get some wood. Love it. I'm not sure how much help that deal is here. But it is just cute. One. Oh, thank you. I would never forgive myself if you got injured there. Also, the teeth look like they're on the wrong side when they're putting it together. It always kind of um, concerns me. Ooh, what's this? I believe we can just... 
dying for something fun. A lemon. Oh, my lemon. Oh, okay. It's for you. You found it. I just need to find a tissue or something. I don't want to get berry juice all over it. Never mind. Just hold on to that lemon for me. Don't go and squeeze it. Wait a minute. Maybe you could help me. This island is fresh out of food. My stomach always feels empty. Maybe I can even help you out aboard your ship. We're cooking, fishing, and building. I don't have my spices and tools, but I'll make it work. Don't think about it too much. Let's just go to your boat. I am down. I am very much down for a helper on the boat, cooking, building. What else did they say? Hello? And who are you? Oh, wow. This boat is amazing. Here comes the real kicker, you little rascal. Get ready for a family reunion. Ooh. <gasps> this is so pretty. Oh, oh, yeah. Close your eyes, guys. Very bright. It's me, Stella. Your uncle at all. Surprised? Happily, I hope. Been on that island for a while now. I can't wait to see the sights, the sea with you. It was lonely with my thoughts. Now I got you, Sprout. Let's set sail for a great adventure. Onwards. Wait a second. Is that a... Um... I don't know. Is it what? Hello? Where'd you go? My god. I knew it! That's the Seamaster 2000. I've actually never seen it in action. I've only heard the rumours. Apparently you can catch the biggest and brightest fish out there. Wow, Stella. You know how to treat yourself. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, oh, Atul, you're so cute. Wait a darn second. You're missing a few bolts. Let me guess. You've been fishing out mostly garbage. Yeah, I kind of have. Mainly um, old boots. You'll see the difference immediately. Give it a go for a fan. Alright. I mean, it pretty much looks the same. But thank you. This is what it all meant about helping out around the place. That's pretty cool. Oh, oh. Whoa, it went red. Uh-oh. So I've got to finagle the, the, the fish now. Come here, you. Uh-oh. <gasps> we got a squid! Woo! Great job, Sprout. They never stood a chance. You sure don't mess around. That's what makes you a pro. Well, this ace level fishing has got me all rattled up. Which reminds me, I have this shiny thing in my pockets on the island. I have no idea what it does. Maybe you can hold on to it. For safekeeping, I suppose. Oh, brother. I need to take a breather. Oh, and by the way, you might be curious and might have already tried. But yes, the water is very salty. Well, I'll go take a look around. You can fish to your heart's content if you want. Fabulous. So we got our second oval, which does mean that we could go get our first upgrade. But I think we'll be doing that in the next episode. I do hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. It really does help out the channel. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know whether or not you're as enamored with Daffodil as I am. It has to be said, Daff just keeps literally tearing at my heart. I love it. And I'm quite, I'm quite a fan of it all. Gwen? Hmm. Eh, so-so. But maybe that's because I've spoken to her the most. May maybe. Maybe we'll, um, as we get away from the tutorials and into actual quests, it will be much better. But guys, uh, with that, thank you very much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. All of that amazing stuff you do. And of course, a very, very special thank you to my wonderful Patreons. Their names are scrolling across the screen as I speak. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.